Hello and welcome. My name is Alex Small and this is my presentation on motion capture. I myself am a 3D animator and as such I found it was important to learn one of my industry's most useful tools. So what is motion capture? Motion capture is the process of recording and digitalizing the information of a moving object or person in motion. An average of 23 or more infrared cameras flood the volume of a capture space with infrared light, where the motion caption actor, every move is captured with the use of retroreflective markers markers that create points that reflect the infrared light back to its source. The data is then cleaned up in cortex and carried from there into the animation software known as Motion Builder. I myself got a chance to dance in the suit here at Full Sail University's motion capture stage. I was given a task of working with all the groups to provide them with their storyboards necessary action. Some actions were easier to portray than others, and the entire event was a blast. I would love to give it a chance to do it all again. Motion caption animators can sometimes feel slighted, but even they would have to agree with that the soul, the impetus behind the movement, does not come from them, but rather from the live-action actor that was originally captured. For example, you aren't able to define anyone's animation style behind any of Tom Hanks' characters in the Polar Express. CG Evolution The animation industry hadn't changed overnight, with the innovation of CG animations on the rise hand-drawn animators were beginning to clench tightly to their pencils. CG animators were no exception, with the transition into the motion capture era being just as scary for some. Much like the introduction into the CG era came with plenty of fear and worry for the common animator. With animation seeming like a constantly evolving career, the big changes became new unsung challenges to adapt to. So what are the uses for motion capture? Well, there are many ways that this process, this process has become useful to professionals in the industry. For example, artists are able to combine two separate scenes into one in order to create a final product that could have not otherwise have been created. Motion capture was used for the first time in the biggest theater blockbuster of the 90s, Titanic. This marked the first feature film for motion capture, helping Titanic in becoming one of the highest grossing films of all time. It was used in one of many scenes, uh, one being the disastrous sinking scene uh, actors are seen falling into the doing icy waters. Um, these, of course, were not real shots. They were created with the use of motion capture actors and wonderful scene editing effects. Also, the budget for certain scenes and effects are too pricey as well as dangerous for the crew involved. Therefore, sometimes the most convenient resource is filming using motion capture. The motion capture process received lots of hype in, for the famous work done on Gollum in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. For many, it was the loads of brilliant work done on the multi-award and highest grossing theater film of all time, Avatar. This film was seen as eye-opening, an eye-opening spectacle that showed big motion capture budget could do. Becoming the second motion capture blockbuster 
to reach the world's highest grossing film, it solidified itself in the books of movie making history. Perhaps in the future, even motion capture will find a way of becoming obsolete. For now it remains one of the most convenient methods in tracking motion data. Motion capture is seen used now not only in films, but in video games and commercials as well. It's an inspirational and fascinating look at what technology is able to do for us currently. Well, that's all I have for us today. My name is Alex Small. This has been my presentation on motion capture. I would like to thank you for your time listening. I hope you learned something. So long.